All right, I wanted to make a proper video of this, how to root in the emulator, even though it is insanely easy. So I made a new emulator because the one I had rooted, I tried to unroot it, and all I did was destroy it. So this one here is not rooted. And so the first thing is to verify that. So if you go ADB shell, you see I have a dollar sign. If I do who am I, I'm not root. I'm shell. And if I try to do sudo su, it won't let me. It just freezes. Oh. This one seems to have magisk, which is disturbing, but hopefully I can just put it on again. Um, all right. Anyway, I'm going to close it. I don't know why it thinks I have magisk, because I thought this was a phone that didn't have magisk installed on it. And it doesn't. Yeah, this is a new clean phone. That's a little disturbing. Anyway, uh, there's some uncontrolled issues here. But anyway, now we're cloned this repository, which I've already done. And so let me go into the directory where that is, which is on my Mac. I cloned it into uh, here, root abd. So I go in there, and I'll do ls. And in here, there is root abd.sh, the script. So you run that script, and the script tells you what... Um, Commands are available, and there it is. List all AVDs. Now, before I do that, let's find out which AVD I want. I want AVD 31 for ARM64. Okay. So, list all AVDs. All right, now I want ARM 31 for ARM64. Here's Android 31. And here's ARM64, and I guess it's V8A. That I don't know. This looks like the right one. Now, this might give me a problem because I've already used root once in here. It's going to tell me. If you've already used Magix once on the same a, a version of Android, then it will complain, and I'll show you how to get around that. So now I run this script, and that should root the phone, and it's checking... And it looks like it's fine, okay, because I restored it back to default inside the GUI before. So this is what you should see if it's going to work. It will go here. It will find some Magisk version installed on your phone. Ah, this is detected that the thing had already been patched. I think it's going to give up now because it observed that the memory image for this version has already been hacked once. And so here it is copying from this location, data, data, Android shell, this one. All right, I think it's going to give up and die. And I'm just going to kill it. To fix it, I'm going to do an ls of that directory. This is where it hacks things. And, uh, oh, that's on the phone. Um, let's see, this command. There, this is where it is. Um, there's the RAM disk image. What it has to do is it has to find a clean Android RAM disk image there to patch. And if I do this, if I look in that folder, it has RAM image and RAM disk image backup. This is where it put the original clean Android image. This is one that's already been hacked once. So, in order to do it a second time, I have to get rid of this one and put that one on top of it. So, I'm going to um, remove this one, ram disk.image, and now I'm going to move this one, ram uh, v8a, right, I got some weird characters in here, move. Library RAM disk image backup to RAM disk not backup. There, that's all. Now it's back to original state containing a clean image there. And now I can just run this command to create perform the hack. And now it's not going to give up at this point. If it looks and the image it's trying to modify has already been modified, it dies. Which is kind of stupid. But anyway, there we are. Now it worked. Now it's repacking it back to RAM disk image format. It's doing the same thing we were doing with those Android apps, essentially. Now it's done, and this should automatically reboot. 
And they say I can try it manually, but I've never seen it fail. There, it automatically goes down. Um, I do not want to save the current state. All right, because I need to do a cold boot. There it is, my Pixel 2 is the new phone. So I do a cold boot now. That's good, that's cold boot requested by user, that's normal. And now I should have Magisk. Yes, and now that I do, I don't need to launch it there, it'll launch automatically when I go to the shell. And I do super user, it's gonna pop up and give me 10 seconds to say grant. If you don't do it within 10 seconds, it locks you out, and there's a way to go into the Magisk app and override it, but it's a little bit annoying. Now I'm root. So that's what I wanted to show you. That's how you root an Android emulator phone, and that's awesome, because then we can, for a lot of things we want to do, we need a rooted phone. So that's how you do it, and I'm gonna stop this video, and that's all the demonstration.